Hello, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. Today I'm going to show you about how to create a new component using a JavaScript and HTML5. Well, uh, basically I have prepared the sample uh, HTML5 like this and I've prepared style.css and script.js. Alright, so I need to load my CSS first css and style.css and i will load my javascript here source js and script.js okay well this is my directory i will open here okay so i have prepared js and css and you also can prepare your directory because I want to show you how to create the element. First, we create a new header one here. Below this paragraph, I have new component. Okay, it's pretty simple. We create a new component here, so uh, panda component uh, because I love panda. And then inside of panda, I have the P for paragraph to create a consonant like a hello, Nanish, I'm panda, I love you. Okay, so I will save and then I will preview view so this is a uh, new div but I want to make it beautiful so I need to go to CSS go to body and then padding to zero and margin to zero and I will use the font family is area okay it's cool right like this so i will create a h1 with a margin 20 sorry uh, maybe 50 pixel okay and then we create a panda sorry panda component like this you know that uh usual we, we using the class like this or like this but uh in this case we don't need that we don't need the dot we don't need we just need to create like this and create the option like a property margin is 50 and then with the uh, background color is blue because I love blue and the color it shall be white oops right and the padding have uh, 30 pixel okay it's cool now I will save and then I will preview again but it's gonna happen do you know why because we don't create the JavaScript yet so we need to go to JavaScript and we have to load JavaScript here and you know I will create a new document create element for a panda component like this save and preview okay well it's not working properly so because I'm forgot about this one because uh, that the component it shall be have the property about display and block and we can save and preview and damn we got it guys okay absolutely you can setting the width because just type 200 and thems like this is good cool right okay so thank you very much for watching my video and if you have any question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel angariski so see you in the next tutorial and goodbye